Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 40 of the Pichu London Cup Series. Today we're here at the Charlotte Roval for the running of the Make of America Roval 400. And it's our second race of the playoffs here in Season 40. On the pole will be the 19 of Toby Smith and alongside him will be the 14 of Rich Roy. In row 2 is the 34 Johnny Gardner and the 8 of Cassandra Kirker. Row 3 has the 6 J.D. Figueroa and the 88 of Max Bailey. And row 4 is the 77 Nicky Maxwell and the 4 car of Zachary Fitzwater. And row 5 we have Casting Reynolds and the 48 of Max Ferry and the 22. Row 6 has Christian Russell in the 43 and the 1 car of Alex Hawkins. And then Maxwell Smart in the 95 and the 20 of Dylan Croom. And then the next row we have Tracy Battle and the number 2 Sam and Oscon. And then we have Giovanni Castillo in the 18 and the 11 of Ethan Sale. And running out your playoff field with the 53 Jackson Nantle and the 15 car Freddie Soto. And two part-time drivers racing here today at the Charlotte Roval. Nilsson Herrera running in the 54. And the last of the part-time crew will be 27 of Christian Vargas. And last weekend at Montague, it was the 43 of Christian Russell that took home the checkered flag. And he will be locked into round two of the playoffs, so he doesn't have to worry about the next two races to make his way into the next round. For everybody else, they have to do the best they can to make it to round two. And now let's take it to the command. So here we go, the cars roll off the track at the Charlotte Roval. Last year's race was um, a wreck fest to say the least. Hopefully these guys have learned their lesson here at the newly repaved Charlotte Roval. And let's hope that this wreck fest does not happen or is not as bad as it was before at least. So we had a wreck fest in Montague before. Well it got calm in the very last laps but nevertheless it was still a wreck fest. But sure enough, we hope to see a pretty a pretty good race here at the Charlotte Roval as we continue here in the playoffs. And here we go. Cars roll off the track as we're about to get the green flag waving here at the Charlotte Roval. And here we go. The green flag is out and the playoffs resume with race number two in the round of 20. Ooh, 14 in the wall a little bit, but he hangs on to it. And these guys are going to have a little trouble trying to navigate through the corners. Going to be real tight and really tough to navigate. The Charlotte Roval is not easy to um, survive in. I'm not sure if I put that right um, correctly, but you get the point. The 19 pulls away. Ooh. Little height in the wall there. Ooh, now cars are loose. The eight car too high. Almost three wide going into the oval portion of the track. And somehow they survive. And ooh, 24 a little tight there. The 12 car really slow. Priam McShane really, really slow as they come down to the S's. 34 trying to get the run to second place and... He gets second, Johnny Gardner up to second spot, and he is a pro at this. He is seriously a pro at this, at road courses. And now three wide right in the middle is Deshaun Clennon with John Andrews and Cody Smart, and they better be real careful here in this corner. Bumping and banging. Just saw a few cars spinning and wrecking. Sure enough, we have a caution. The 15 just went around. Yeah, that 15, he just couldn't even see the corner and spins out on the turn. And so the 15 car, real slow as he couldn't even control it. He could not get it in control. And they'll race back to the line. So they'll race back to the caution here, but at least they got a green flag run in there. The 15 was a little too overly aggressive on that last turn, and he nearly spun there, but that still brought the caution out, nevertheless. A lot of battles going on here. The 19, though, is doing pretty well, 
Oh, four car hard hit. Oh, four got a hard hit on that turn. Wow, the four car with a hard hit on that barrier with the 43 and 48. And Fitzwater goes around. Big damage on the four car. A lot of smoke and Reynolds is out of the race. 48 was hit hard by the four racing back to the caution. And they, those cars are out now. Oh, man. A couple playoff cars in trouble already at the Roval. As we see the 19, Toby Smith take the lead under caution. Hopefully he slows down here and he's going to do just that. That's probably the way you should run here on this last corner heading into the start-finish line. As you saw Freddie Soto, he wasn't able to hang on. He went way too fast and just couldn't control the car at the end. And Christian Russell with major damage, but as I, as I, like I said earlier, he won last weekend in Montego to get himself into round two, so he doesn't have to worry about the next two races to make his way in back to the second round. And a side-by-side -side battle with Deshaun Clennon and Igor Barreto, and Clennon's going to win the battle over the 13. And they're going to slow down. They'll get the field all bunched up again and hopefully line up um, correctly. Handful of cars will pit, and the leaders chose to stay out. Reynolds, Reynolds, I mean Russell, Reynolds, and Fitzwater, they're out of the race. The first three out here in this race. So we're going back to the green at Charlotte. And Toby Smith leads the field again as he stayed out with uh, Max Bailey. And the cars behind them did not pit. Carter Friesen's going for the position. He wants to be aggressive. But he's not going to... Be able to get by Gardner though. Gardner is tough. And he is an expert here at road courses like these. And somehow stays on his feet. 66 is not giving up easily though. Still trying to make the pass. More cars in that wall there. That's going to be a tough wall to avoid. Zach Fitzwater wrecked here by the way. Racing back to the caution. So these guys are trying to be a little careful to not um, make contact too much there as Freddie Soder comes to pit road and he comes out of pit road he came into pit road before the green and he's out of the pit road right now and 22 a little off track there nearly a three wide battle here we have a three wide battle right in the middle and now we go to the final corner as the 19 looks like he's okay. Oh, 31, a little cut there. He cut in the corner. Now they're three wide again. And now they're crashing. And I knew that three wide was not going to work at this final corner. And the 10 and 54, they spin. No caution. They stay green. They're going to stay green. So... 54 very slow, but he will get back on track and there is no caution. It's going to be a very long way down pit road for sure for the 54 car But he's going to try to make it as best as he can as we have uh, we're st we're green. We stay green So for once we stay green here. Uh, we had our we had a green flag We didn't have a we didn't have a green flag run at last year's race until uh, the very end but this time though these guys know exactly when to slow down, at least the pack, the front pack knows when to slow down exactly, and uh, they know it, they know what to do. We have a caution, and I'm not sure what it was for, but let's try to figure this one out. We just brought a yellow flag right, up, right now. Some of the cars have decided to pit. So where was the caution? Hmm. Let me try to figure out why we're under caution. Oh, there we go. Alex Hawkins. Hawkins went around and he gets hit on this corner. And the, I believe the 22 hit him from the side. So he spun around and he's down. Oh, three sluice.
So now we're going back, racing to the line. Looks like Toby Smith might try to make it through unscathed. And sure enough, he did make it through unscathed. So he makes it through, and he will still be the leader, but he has not pitted under caution yet, but it might be in a different strategy. Oh, no! Three car just went around. Anthony then takes him out, trying to get a pass on that final corner before the yellow, and it doesn't work, and they both collided. Nelson Herrera, good news for him. It'll, it'll be a little easier for him to get on to pit road because of the caution. And sure enough, the 19 has to pit. And Riley Spurley Tube is out. Uh, has stayed out and has taken the lead. We're back to the green. Herrera is out of the race, by the way. Spurley Tube is leading now over Rich Roy and Max Bailey. And it probably wasn't a great pit stop for Toby Smith. But then again, they had to fix the rear, some of the side damage. That the 19 got, so it had to be longer than he that he anticipated. Already a caution? Where was that? Was there a caution already? They didn't even get to uh, pass through the first corners without a caution. Hmm. I think the 22. It was Max Farrier. Sure enough, it was Max Farrier. They get to collide in turn one with Carter Friesen. <laughs> and a weird glitch there. Wow, that was weird. Oh, wow, look at... They're glitching now. They are glitching now. Oh, my gosh. This is not looking good. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm hoping that this game doesn't crash on me with those glitches. I'm really hoping that this game doesn't crash on me. But if it does, well, we're at the halfway point, so... Oh, boy. Just hope that it doesn't crash on me. Yeah, I'm begging that this does not crash on me at all. JD Figueroa just took third from Max Bailey to the line, and now let's see if the 47 can hang on to the lead. Ooh, 14 a little loose there, and that 47 should get a little bit more room. And look at Christian Vargas up to six. Christian Vargas took the position away from the 19. Is he gonna hang on? And here we go to the corner, last turn, last S's corner, uh, and Bailey is a little too high, but he makes it through, and then 27 clears the 19. So, th there's that. 32, very slow, that's Lean Campana struggling to make it through. And uh, I'm not even going to, you know, save the files yet on, in case of a crash, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to take the risk here and try to go for it and continue the race and hope that it doesn't crash on me so Riley Spurley two pits under caution and we have a new leader uh, it's Rich Roy the 14 car in the playoffs leads the pack to the green and we're back underway at the Roval Well, so far so good down the corner where the uh, 22 spun. Well, they're they're clean right now, but with um, seven to go, it, it might get a little might get dirty um, in the, the rest of the way. Oh, 14 little contact. Could this be enough room for the six to make his move? That six car is real hungry to win here today. Rich Roy trying to be a uh, victor here and um, try to be a winner here at the Roval. It's a real tough course to win at. Oh, he's a little high, but he does make it through as his other competitors take the same route. And hopefully we don't see any other close calls into this corner, but I'm sure we're going to probably get a few more, more aggressive moves for these guys throughout the race as they're all trying to get as much points as possible especially the playoff drivers for them to advance to round two so they're gonna try to they're gonna probably try a lot of desperation moves um in this race and you saw that Cody Smart and Deshaun Clennon get together on that corner and that'll bring the caution out five laps to go though the caution is out no it I'm sorry not uh, it'll be yeah it'll be five laps to go when the caution comes out so now they're gonna race back to the line it appears we'll have a um, three laps to go when we get back to the green second place is now max bailey as maxwell is into the wall 
Figueroa struggles and he is slow. Um, the sixth car ha is struggling now and he has a problem, an issue, and he is off the pace. Figueroa just went off the pace and now he's dropping back and losing a lot of playoff points at the Roval for whatever reason. I guess there was a problem. Um, he he accumulated in the sixth car. And it's not looking good for his chances to get a good finish here at the Roval, that's for sure. And they'll race back to the caution. And Rich Roy will take the lead and not have a problem getting through the corners. But the sixth car with an issue has to come to pit and loses a lot of position and ground. Well, I guess he ran out of gas or something or had a tire go down. Not sure, but we do know he has dropped down to the positions. And he has lost a lot of playoff points for that. He is in 30th. Not so good, but we could still have an overtime finish where every car is back on track for the two-lap caution-free run. And it's sure going to be an exciting one if we get overtime here at the Roval. Well, we're probably likely going to with all the wrecks we've seen here in this race. I think the longest green flag run we've had is like three laps, so... <laughs> If we can get a three lap green flag run at the end, that would be pretty pretty that would be pretty good. But not as good as overtime. Two laps, caution free. Fourteen and eighty eight going for the lead. Max Bailey trying to get the run. Can he get him on the bottom? They're side by side for the lead. Max Bailey is trying desperately to get that lead. And he's got the 14. He clears him. Can he get to the S's and keep the lead? And he will. Oh, wow. Very tight there, but he does get through. Just went through. Gets through the corner. 88 pulls ahead with two to go. Oh, boy. Cars are pitting. This might be us. This might be a sign that this race could come down to fuel mileage. Could be a sign of fuel. It could be a battle of fuel mileage unless these guys start to wreck one another. Without a doubt, they could be wrecking each other in this final on these final two laps. But a handful of cars have pitted, hoping for overtime, maybe hoping to get that fuel and tires and damage fixed, so they can race into overtime. Definitely, they're pitting just for overtime. Because they know that with a wreck coming up, like, not too far away, they'll probably go come down to overtime. Max Bailey, a huge lead over the 14, but will it last? Will he hold on to the lead? Is the 88 going to win again and move on to the next round? Max Bailey having a pretty good season so far. He made the playoffs with two wins this season, and he would be only the second driver with three wins in season 40 if he can hold on and win here at the Roval. He and JD Figueroa would be the only drivers with three wins this season. Bailey would love to get another victory and get himself into round two. As we come to the white flag next time by and we're clean and green. Two more cars on to pair road now the 19 on pair road. Now the 88 takes the white flag under green. And this is going to be the end of the race. This is it, folks. This is the last lap of the race. Max Bailey, big lead over the 14. He's just got to hope to not mess a single turn up. And he'll be able to win again and get his third win of season 40 and get himself into round two. The 88 Hendrick team, they would love to win at the Roval. And add another win to them in the Roval here. And it'll be tough to do so, but we'll see if they can get there. Running a smooth race most of the time here on the last lap and not having any issues. Johnny Garner trying to catch the 14 for second. Will these guys hold on on fuel though? Will this be about fuel as well? We saw a handful of cars in the top five pit. So will that, will that mean that these guys have to pit on the last lap? And probably give up the win. That was the last of the chicane now. And now we get to the final chicane down. And we'll see if Max Bailey can hold on. 
Here we go off the final turn, and here comes Max Bailey. And he's going to do it. Max Bailey has won here at the Charlotte Roval, and he is in round two of the playoffs. And Max Bailey has done it. He has won at the Roval. He takes the checkers. He hangs on for the win and a solid, superb victory for the 88 team. It was a tough battle, but they ultimately survived and took home the win. And the 88 of Max Bailey, he is now only the second three-race winner of season 40, joining, joining J.D. Figueroa. So Bailey and Christian Russell will be in round two of the playoffs. Very solid. So anyway, your final results here from the Roval, as you see top three were playoff drivers. And some of the playoff drivers, most of them were a lot better. They did a lot better. We had seven playoff drivers. Um, we had seven playoff drivers um, finish in the top ten, which was very, very good. So um, now, it's, now the round one cutoff is coming up, and it's going to be coming down to Richmond to decide who makes it into round number two. So you don't want to miss the first round cutoff race at Richmond. That's our next race. And four drivers will be eliminated from playoff contention. So you don't want to miss the final race of round one of the playoffs as we will, we will see you guys next time at Richmond.